Mary. And I'm Kayla. And we are so glad to be here with you today, wherever you are. Psalm 100 verse 2 in the Bible says, Worship the Lord with gladness and come before him with joyful songs. And that's what we want to do today. We want to invite you into that space where we get to worship God together and be in his presence and say thank you, God, for who you are and for all that you do for us and for all the ways that you love us so much. And we want to come with joy and sing some songs with him. So would you stand with us? Would you sing some songs? with us today. Would you praise God with us and say thank you for all that you have done. Let's sing right now.
God with you and to thank God and remember that he is such a good, good father to us. And he loves us and he knows exactly what we need, even when we don't know what that is. Would you pray with us now? Dear Lord, thank you that you are such a good, good father and you always trust us. Thank you that you made us and we can be alive. Amen. Amen. Well, friends, we've had so much fun singing and worshiping with you, and we hope you'll stay tuned for this next part of God's story. We'll see you soon. Zonda Kids presents The Jesus Storybook Bible Every story whispers his name Written by Sally Lloyd-Jones and read by David Suchet The sun stops shining. So you're a king, are you? The Roman soldiers jeered. Ah, oh, then you'll need a crown and a robe. They gave Jesus a crown made out of thorns and put a purple robe on him and pretended to bow down to him. Oh, your majesty, they said. Then they whipped him and spat on him. They didn't understand this was the Prince of Life, the King of Heaven and Earth, who had come to rescue them. The soldiers made him a sign, Our King, and nailed it to a wooden cross. They walked up a hill outside the city. Jesus carried the cross on his back. Jesus had never done anything wrong, but they were going to kill him the way criminals were killed. They nailed Jesus to the cross. Father, forgive them, Jesus gasped. They don't understand what they're doing. You say you've come to rescue us, people shouted. You can't even rescue yourself. But they were wrong. Jesus could have rescued himself. A legion of angels would have flown to his side if he'd called. If you were really the Son of God, you could just climb down off that cross they said. And of course they were right. Jesus could have just climbed down. Actually, he could have just said a word and made it all stop, like when he healed that little girl and stilled the storm and fed 5,000 people. But Jesus stayed. You see, they didn't understand. It wasn't the nails that kept Jesus there. It was love. Papa? Jesus cried, frantically searching the sky. Papa, where are you? Don't leave me! And for the first time, and the last, when he spoke, nothing happened. Just a horrible, endless silence. God didn't answer. He turned away from his boy. Tears rolled down Jesus' face, the face of the one who would wipe away every tear from every eye. Even though it was midday, a dreadful darkness covered the face of the world. The sun could not shine. The earth trembled and quaked. The great mountains shook Rocks split in two until it seemed that the whole world would break. The creation itself would tear apart. The full force of the storm of God's fierce anger at sin was coming down on his own son instead of his people. It was the only way God could destroy sin and not destroy his children whose hearts were filled with sin. Then Jesus shouted out in a loud voice, It is finished! And 
It was. He had done it. Jesus had rescued the whole world. Father, Jesus cried, I give you my life. And with a great sigh, he let himself die. Strange clouds and shadows filled the sky, purple, orange, black, like a bruise. Jesus' friends gently carried Jesus. They laid Jesus in a new tomb, carved out of rock. How could Jesus die? What had gone wrong? What did it mean? They didn't know anything anymore, except they did know that their hearts were breaking. Ah, that's the end of Jesus, the leaders said. But just to be sure, they sent strong soldiers to guard the tomb. They hauled a huge stone in front of the door to the tomb so that no one could get in or out. Well, friends, we hope you enjoyed that part of God's story. And now it's time for a raffle. Anyana, you marry. Yay, Anyana, you won the raffle. Well, Anyana, if you are watching this, make sure you tell your mom or your dad to email or text Miss Cozy, and she'll make sure to get you a prize. Well, friends, we've had so much fun with you, and we look forward to seeing you next time. Have a great day. Bye! Who you are for us, you are not against us, Champions.